Are those Shatari handcuffs? What? Oh, uh... Yeah. Strange thing to collect. I mean, I collect some pretty weird stuff. Oh, uh... <laughs> it's... It's not like that. I found them in the quarantine zone and I just... kept them. Why? <sighs> I don't know. As a reminder of who I used to be, how I got here, it's... It's stupid. Not... necessarily. You want to talk about it? I don't know if you know this, but my dad is kind of the king of Spartax. I know. You do? I mean, you do. Of course you do. You're you. Yeah. And it's not exactly a secret. It's what I would have done. Kidnap the progeny of a powerful leader to control them. I mean, Hella knows how long they kept you. Except that it was for the express purpose of keeping the Spartoi Empire from joining the Resistance. Four years. What? Four years. That's how long they had me. Four Earth years. And a few days. I am sorry. Don't be. For a long time, I thought my dad would come get me. Raise an army, send in spies to break me out, something. But he didn't. Guess it wasn't politically advantageous. Fathers suck sometimes. Trust me. At least your dad wanted you. Even after the war, my wouldn't see me. One, want is a nice way of saying kidnapped. Make no mistake, Peter. You're not the only one who was stolen from their home. And two, you went to Spartax? Even had a speech worked out and everything. Hey, Dad, it's me. Your son you left to rot in a Shatari prison? It was that or punch him. I was undecided. Still am. Getting into the White House would have been easier. White House? Basically, my dad loves bureaucratic bullcrap. I thought being his only son would be enough to get me an audience. Turns out I needed an appointment. The Spartoi Empire was in political shambles after the Galactic War. He was too busy to see his kid? Yeah, I got the message loud and clear. I lost everything I ever loved because of him, and he wouldn't even look me in the eye. I'm so sorry, Peter. Don't be, I just... Mm, really want to punch him. Ever been to Shatari Prime? More times than I care to admit. Then you know what it's like. How they're like. The scritching, scratching, hissing. Reptilian stuff of nightmares. Oh, yeah. Hard to forget. I've seen some pretty messed up movies, but nothing came close to what it was like living on Shatari Prime. I was just a kid. I didn't even know aliens were real until they showed up in my backyard. <laughs> and now? And now you're surrounded by aliens. There aren't a lot of humans out here. Sure, there's a few of us kicking around. Richard Ryder. Right. That guy. Might as well be an alien. Point is, I'm pretty much alone. All because the Shatari saw me as a valuable asset. Not just the Shatari. Thanos. Of course, your dad was pulling the strings. I think I'd almost rather Thanos over those lizards. I can promise you that Thanos would not have been the better option. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, do you know what the Shatari do to their prisoners? The unvaluable ones? They throw them into an arena and make them fight monsters. They take bets, sabotage favored prisoners by breaking a leg or an arm. All of it for their messed up insect entertainment. You survived, Peter. Men stronger than Drax have been slaughtered in those arenas. You lived. Yeah, I survived all right. As a bargaining chip. Would you have preferred death? I don't know. Back then, maybe. Now, not so much. Then be glad you made it out at all. <laughs> Helen knows I'm glad you did. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. Yeah, I guess. <laughs>